Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, October 28th, and it's National Frankenstein Day. <laughs> so, I love Frankenstein. It's no secret. I talk about it all the time. <clears throat> I have Frankenstein stuff all over my house for Halloween to decorate with, and I've got a bunch of crochet things that I've made over the last few years that I wanted to share with you guys today, and I'll link the patterns below if you want to check them out. Um, let's see here. One of them is in a magazine that you, we would have to purchase, or unless you already had it. <laughs> um, and if I can find it, it's, it's a last year's magazine. But if I can find it anywhere online, I'll link it below if you want to purchase it. But the uh, pattern designer doesn't have it separately for sale at this time. Anyways, I love Frankenstein. I don't know why, I've just always been drawn to him. I think it's his colors, plus his story, uh, backstory and all that. You know, it's just a favorite of mine forever. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved uh, that. And then the, just the image of Frankenstein this monster <laughs> i'm just gonna call him frankenstein for short because um it's easier than saying frankenstein's a monster but frankenstein was the doctor <laughs> so he's actually frankenstein's monster but anyways most people just call him frankenstein so yeah i'm gonna share just some patterns with you i got my fancy notes here written on one of those envelopes that you send a bill <laughs> payment in because i'm so fancy but this first one i made quite a few years ago <clears throat> I think it was right after we moved in here but it is this one it's so cute i put some dollar tree flowers it is a uh canning jar uh court <laughs> um that i just put him on there he is he's made a red heart i know this is glow worm in black and purple or it's like amethyst and some gray <laughs> but um he's so cute this is a free pattern by snappy tots it's called franken lot it's meant to be put on like a garden lot uh with like a light in it you know line up <laughs> but i just made him and he's perfect just for a jar cozy to be a vase so i did just get some dollar tree flowers this one was gifted to me and then this is a balloon devon got me <laughs> so i just kind of put it all together but i use this every single year i think i made this in 2017 it's been a while <laughs> and i always use it every year to put somewhere in my house to decorate with it's a really quick pattern and it is a free pattern, like I said, by Snappy Tots. But I believe you can also buy the PDF on Ravelry and uh, her shop that she has. Uh, snappy, stop, <laughs> snappy Tots Shop. Well, that's hard to say. But uh, it's cute. I'm going to have it linked below. He is cute. I usually have him up here um, right now, but I'm going to set him in the floor. Because <laughs> I don't want to break it. But that's, that's one of my favorite ones. I love that. And then, let's see here. This one I made... Oh Lord, 2018 or 2019. It was during the crochet, the Halloween crochet along that Underground Crafter um, does every year. And this is one of the patterns that was on it. The pattern is actually by Maria's Blue Crown, which I love a lot. <laughs> and it's a rag doll, Frankenstein. He's so cute. <laughs> he lives on my mantle on the holidays, or the Halloween holiday. And he's just so stinky cute. I love him so much. His little feet, his little arms. And like I said, yeah, it's Maria's Blue Crown. Blue, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Focus. <laughs> Maria's Blue Crown. <laughs> she makes those, the Halloween blanket I made, and the Christmas one I'm currently working on. And she's got some amigurumi patterns. She's got all kinds of patterns. And uh, they're free on her website. You can also buy PDFs also, but they are free on her website. And again, this is all Red Heart. Because back in the, you know, 2016, 2017, 2018, I was just using Red Heart. I got Walmart. <laughs> I didn't really branch out from then, uh, from that until uh, I started doing YouTube and getting to know different types of yarns. But he's so cute. He's made in two pieces, the front and back, and then his little arms, legs, and eyes are separate. And I like the little detail up here with his hair. Those are just drop stitches. It's just cute. He's just cute. I love him. He's so cute. He just sits up there and it's cute all <laughs> Halloween season for me. So that's a cute pattern. Definitely check it out if you love Frankenstein as much as I do. All right. <clears throat> this Frankenstein is one I made myself and I was going to write it up as a pattern, I think last year. And I never got around to it. <laughs> so it's just something I just whipped up one day to um, decorate with. And he also sets up on my mantle, <laughs> but it's just a little like Frankenstein head. And again, there's no pattern to this. It's just one that I made, but it's just a basic, you know, circle <laughs> and I did do the drop stitches around the top for his hair and I just made a cute little face but this is just one that I whipped up so there's no pattern to this it's just cute I thought it was cute so he lives up there too again that's all red heart because <laughs> this is spring green black amethyst and white 
All right, the last one that I have pattern to show you is a treat bag that I made last year, 2020. Yes, it was. Um, I made another one this year, but I can't remember what I did with it. I entered it in a fair and I brought it home and now I don't know where it's at. I was supposed to line it and I can't find it. <laughs> That's the story of my life. But this is called Baby Frankie Treat Bag. And it's actually, it's the writer is Deborah Arch. But um, this is the one that you can't buy the pattern just by itself. But it was in the 2020 Annie Spooktacular Crochet. This one was gifted to me. Look, so was that um, Frankenlight from Snappy Tots. It was also in there. But she does have it on her website. But it was a, it's a treat bag. And there was um, <clears throat> Franken, the Frankenstein one, and there was also a, uh, a cat one. All right, here it is. <laughs> so there's the Frankenstein one, and there's the cat one. And I did make this last year. So here it is. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Jessie never did want to use this last year, but that's okay. I'll just save it for June. I can use it for her next year. It needs to be lined. I haven't done that yet, but uh, I'll do it eventually, <laughs> maybe. But it's so cute, and it was pretty easy. The hair is attached. It's just a cute little little bag. So those are my Frankenstein patterns. <laughs> I also have this book I just want to share with you guys. It's called The Vault of Frankenstein, and it's 200 years of the world's most famous monster. And it's got all kinds of information about all the shows and movies and books and stories um, uh, about Frankenstein ever. <laughs> and in the back, it's got an envelope that has replicas of old movie posters in it. I'm saving those for when we get a house, and I'm going to frame them and hang them up. But I love this book. I bought it at Ollie's, which is a closeout store down here. I don't know if it's everywhere. But it's kind of like Big Lots. And uh, I can't remember what Big Lots is called in the north. My friend Phyllis has one, and it's got the weirdest name. But I can't remember now. <laughs> but it's just a closet store. And um, I got this last year. And I love it. It's just such a beautiful book. And um, it's got a lot of cool information in it. And those, these are the posters that it's got in it. That I will hang up when I get a house and can frame them and make them look pretty. <laughs> yeah, so I just want to share my love of Frankenstein with you guys today since it's National Frankenstein Day. And I'll have all these patterns linked below if I can. And also this magazine. I think you could probably get it on... I think I've seen it on Amazon, and I think sometimes Thrift Books has it, but it really depends on, you know, if people selling it through there. I don't know if you can get it on Annie's website, but I will look, and if I can find it on there, I will link it for you guys. But that is my little Frankenstein collection. I also got this little box, and over there, I have a glass Frankenstein vase. It's originally from TJ Maxx, but I bought it at a thrift store, <laughs> and I love it too. And I don't know if I have any more Frankensteins. I know I have the other Frankenstein bag. I just love him. So every time I see him, oh, you know, something with him on it, I just purchase it and throw it somewhere. <laughs> I got so much Halloween decorations. And actually, today's 28th, so in just a few days, Halloween will be coming down and Christmas will be going up and it'll be Christmas time at the Roberts house. <laughs> I always like to say Roberts's because of uh, the Adams family, they call the Gomez, he calls them the Adamses. And I always just call us the Roberts's because it's cooler than just Roberts. <laughs> but, uh, that's my love for the green monster man. He is adorable. I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I will link all that below. Let me know if you have a weird fascination with any monsters. Mine is Frankenstein. I know Heather also loves Frankenstein. And also Angelia loves Frankenstein. So I guess it's just something that just clicked with all three of us. And we love Frankenstein. My husband, Devin, he loves Jason Voorhees. He, he collects things of Jason Voorhees characters and um, you know it's just funny how <laughs> we attach ourselves some way to these crazy characters and um, they become an obsession and then we buy all the things <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and edit this because I got edited a few bits where I messed up but that's okay and I'll see you guys later today for a vlog and maybe tomorrow for a video I don't know tomorrow's Friday we'll see <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the video bye guys